Hi, Jim Kasub with Heritage Media, here with uh, Jody Egan, the director of Wyandotte Museums and Cultural Affairs. Here at the Wyandotte Street Art Fair, we are here on the Thursday, the second day of the fair. What was yesterday? Was it, did it kind of keep the, uh, the, the crowds down a little bit? Wednesday was a little challenging. We did have some storms. You should have let, you should the, the front of the past, but we averted most rain. It looks really good now. It seems like the weather is nicer, so I imagine you probably expect a lot of people for the weekend. We are. And actually, yesterday we had a really good turnout, so we're really pleased with that. The streets were so crowded, and the artists were very happy with their with their participation yesterday. So now that it's much cooler outside and there's a good breeze, we are anticipating big crowds, lots of fun things to do. Like tonight, tomorrow night, tonight, um, the Fuse is going to be on the stage. Right. So Always a big draw. Here. What, is, uh, what is really new and exciting? Is there any particular new artist out here that is getting a lot of draw that people are wanting to take a look at? Well, we really do have a lot of we have a lot of wonderful new artists, and artists come in as you know from all over the country. So we have a particularly wonderful group called Twisted Sisters Pottery, and they create pottery pieces and they incorporate found art or recycled metal objects, and typewriter keys and gears and hogs. So that's one of the really neat things. My favorite new piece of art is is actually the cover of our guidebook. His name is actually Art, and he's our mascot for the Wyandotte Street Art Fair. He was reinterpreted by local uh, Michigan artist Tim Gayway and painted by Detroit artist Audrey Pomgrads. And Art, as you know probably, Jim, has been our mascot for about four or five years now. What, didn't you not rediscover him? Was it Art like originally in the very first Art Fair 52 years ago or something like exactly. that? Exactly. Yeah, 50, well, yeah, from the 1960s, Art was found on one of our original posters in the archives. It's a little line drawing of a little guy with a beret and a right. paintbrush, and every year we have a local artist reinterpret him according to our theme. Last year he was a comic book superhero. I remember you probably that. remember that. Yes, I do. Two years ago he it was our 50th birthday and he was a retro 1960s Mad Men kind of character. This year he is the ringmaster to the greatest show on earth, of course, the Wind Up Street Art Fair. And he joins us in the third dimension this year for the very first time as a ringmaster marionette. And he's actually on display at River's Edge Gallery, which is at 3024 Middle Avenue. I should check that out before I leave. Well. well, Jody, thank you for joining us today, and uh, hope all of you can come down at some point this weekend to check out the Wyandotte Street Art Fair for Heritage Media. I'm Jody Super.